A new state bill is becoming a hot topic for debate. It aims to stop employers from deputizing their workers in case they witness shoplifting or violent outbursts in the workplace. Good evening, this is the KTLA 5 News at 530. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Rivera. Supporters of Senate Bill 553 say it's an important step to preventing workplace violence, stopping staff from forcing employees to step in during robberies. Opponents say the bill goes too far, basically letting criminals steal whatever they want without fear of repercussions. KTLA's Chip Yost is live in La Palma with both sides of the debate. Chip. Yeah, you got a, a couple different sides of this debate here. You got on one side a state senator who proposed this bill. He says this bill will protect workers. On the other side, you have the California Retailers Association, which believes this bill will basically invite shoplifters to shoplift some more. Let's talk about the senator's side of things first. The senator who proposed this bill, like I said, said it is to protect workers. Let's put up a comment he sent us a little bit so you can see what he says about this bill, how he explains the shoplifting part of this bill. He says under my SB 553, that's Senate Bill 553, employers would be prohibited from forcing their workers to confront active shoplifters and all retail employees would be trained on how to react to active shoplifting. Well, according to the California Retailers Association, they read the bill a little differently. They think the bill goes too far. They believe the way the bill is written, it would prevent loss prevention employees from doing their jobs, which is to try to stop shoplifting from happening. Here's more from the president of the California Retailers Association. And basically our biggest concern with this is that it will eliminate the position of loss prevention in our retail store. Those are our specially trained personnel who understand how to de-escalate some of these situations. And if we don't have the ability to enable and empower our loss prevention personnel to do their job, it's going to create an open door of policy for people to come in and steal from our stores. Now, State Senator Dave Cortezzi, who wrote the bill, who had that comment we just showed you, he uh, disagrees. He doesn't believe that's what the bill says. The California Retailers Association says that's what the attorneys they've had looked at it tell them they believe that uh, would happen if this is passed. But just to please them, he says they will amend the bill. The bill is right now in the state assembly. He says they plan on amending it to address that concern. Here's more from a phone interview we had with the state senator late this afternoon. That's, that's one of the easiest amendments I'll ever deal with in my life. Um, all we had to do is have legislative council add those three words. So that's done. Um, so I guess the question for them is, what are they going to come up with next? That you know they don't they don't really like that. They have another problem with the bill. They basically almost anything they've brought up with regard to concerns about the bill, we've addressed. Hey. And there are more concerns about the bill. This is a very large bill. The shoplifting, just one part of it. It's a workplace violence bill. But as far as the status of the bill, it passed the state Senate. It's now in the assembly. It's in committee in the assembly. We'll have to go through the assembly and then come back to the Senate for that amendment. You just said that they will add over those concerns you heard that were raised. But still a long way to go before it becomes law and a lot more debate to be had over it. For now, reporting live here in La Palma, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.